Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? Got debunked? Got debunked? This whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed. Nobody around him could have known the scientific facts that are mentioned in the Quran. Now we know that this whole scientific miracle is actually nonsense. There are so many things in the Quran which lends itself to scientific discoveries. Guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed. Suppose whatever the Quran has mentioned, 80% has proved to be 100% correct. Absolute nonsense. Astronomy. Debunked. Geology. Debunked. Water cycle. Debunked. Oceanography. Debunked. Botany. Debunked. Biology. Debunked. Zoology. Debunked. Not even 0.1% of that 20% which is ambiguous has been proved to be wrong. Now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. Because we know very clearly our brother Andrew Tate is a Muslim. Is he a Mu'min yet? No, not just yet. He'll be working towards that. So we need to understand we give him the benefit of doubt. He's still learning. I, one of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles is absolute nonsense. Not to in total, but guess what? <laughs> you I'm just said absolute Islam. nonsense. <laughs> Absolute nonsense, but not in total, realizing, realizing the backlash he's going to get for saying absolute nonsense, and then so he tries to qualify it. <laughs> Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. Because I'm stupid. So, wow, wow. He said he calls it debunked. So he says that uh, absolute nonsense. And he says debunked. scientific miracles in the Quran narrative is absolute nonsense. He says we know it's nonsense. He says it has been debunked. We said the same thing. We say the same thing nowadays. We have said it quite a bit. And when we say it, uh, Muslims come out and they're like, liar, liar. What about this miracle? What about that miracle? And here is Ali Dawah with his now newly reached 1 million subscribers. The, the guy who does the dawah, he comes out saying, scientific miracles, oh, that's nonsense. It's nonsense. Think about this. It has, I mean, been, it has been debunked. Debunked. All of the arguments that were spread by their da'is in the in the 90s and early 2000s, so all the arguments of Ahmed Didat and Zakir Naik and all these guys, I mean, what are the arguments of, of dawah in the 1990s and the 2000s, it's uh, perfect, miraculous preservation of the only Quran, only one Quran, no variants anywhere. It's a miracle. Mathematical marvels in the Quran, um, especially the number 19. Uh, you've got the scientific miracles, and you've got Muslims now admitting that all of these were, com were completely bogus. But guess what? People, people were converting. People were converting to Islam based on the claim that they have all these arguments and now they're admitting that all of these arguments were completely bogus but notice i mean what's what's left i mean it's what muhammad and the bible <laughs> here's here's what's hilarious right you can go to any of the arguments for muhammad and the bible they sound absolutely insane to anyone who's actually read any of those passages because old testament or new testament muhammad muhammad meets the requirements of a false prophet according to both so arguing that he is a true prophet according to the text which give criteria which he meets as a and would qualify him as a false prophet um you'd say this is a this is a ridiculous argument but they still defend it but notice who's defending this as a great argument that, that muhammad's in the bible the same exact people who told you there are all these scientific miracles the same exact people who said there are all these mathematical miracles the same exact people who said there's only one quran perfectly preserved down to the letter from the time of muhammad the same exact people who they now admit were lying to you are the same people who've defended muhammad in the bible but you're supposed to trust them right you're you're, you're talking to a guy right here who believes that it's it's completely legitimate to enter Islam based on complete lies. He thinks that's fine. But if he says, hey, Muhammad, oh, I found Muhammad in the Bible. He's right here. You're going to believe him, right? That That's, I mean, <laughs> like, am I crazy here? It's like they're establishing themselves as the biggest deceivers and least trustworthy people on the planet. But after they're acknowledging that, it's they say, oh, trust us when we give you an argument. And what are they what are they doing right now? They're going to be putting together more arguments 
But again, it seems to be the the pace at which we refute their arguments and then they acknowledge that they've been refuted seems to be accelerating. So it's like, what are you guys going to say next that isn't immediately going to be ob obliterated? Yeah, nothing. You can say nothing anymore that is that is going to pass. It's, they just they they do the, they do our job for us nowadays. It's Ali Dawa just declared the Islamic scientific miracles to be bogus, and it gets worse than that. Let's watch. One of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense. Let's clarify real quick. How much of the scientific miracles claim is accurate, according to Ali Dawa? This whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense. Well, that's pretty bold. He did try to backpedal though, right? Not to in total, but guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? So in Ali Dawa's explanation of the scientific miracles being absolute nonsense, even after backing off of it, he actually doubled down and said the whole scientific miracles thing got debunked. Well, I guess let's at least hear his answer to if it made him leave Islam. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. So Ali Dawa grew in faith by having his reasons to believe proven false? Does he know what faith means? According to Oxford Dictionary, faith means complete trust or confidence in someone or something. How can you have complete faith or trust in something that's been absolutely debunked? That's completely illogical. Even if you try to argue for the second definition of faith, strong belief in God or the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof, how can anyone have belief or spiritual apprehension, meaning understanding, when those very same beliefs and understandings have been proven false. Let's listen to how Ali Dawa deals with this. I grew in faith, and that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. They were Bedouin Arabs, and Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? It says the Bedouins say we have believed. Say you have not yet believed, but rather say we have submitted. For for faith has not entered your heart. If you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds or anything. So, which is very clear, meaning faith hasn't come into your heart yet. This whole thing is very strange to me, as Ali Dawa started off believing, then lost those beliefs when the Islamic scientific miracles were debunked. Then, he says he didn't leave Islam over it because he grew in faith, which means belief. But then quotes a Quran verse where Allah says, don't say you have belief. To further muddy the waters the Islamic sun sets in, Ali continues. So every Muslim is, every mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. A true, true, true believer in that sense. This comes with time, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this video. So finally, Ali Dawa says not every Muslim is a believer and says that comes with time. The thing is, Ali Dawa clearly explained with time, his beliefs were debunked. He had faith in the Islamic scientific miracles. In fact, they're why he came to Islam. Now he knows they're false. So what is the faith that came with time? Suspiciously enough, he never said. It only seems like he had beliefs that were lost with time. Does that mean he himself is not a true believer now? If nothing else, he's clearly admitted himself he's no longer a believer in the Islamic scientific miracles.